Good evening. Hello, Good hello. Evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How was your day, Julia? I'm still working, teacher. I'm at work at the oh, airport. Oh, you're at the airport. Oh my goodness. What time yeah. do What time do yeah. you finish? Around 10 p.m. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. You're at Hopefully. the Ilopango Lake. Exactly. Uh, at, the, at the Ilopango airport. airport. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Vilma, how are you? I can't hear you. Your micro, Vilma. Okay. I'm great. Okay, good. Now yeah. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, thank you. How was your day, Vilma? Uh, it was relaxed. Good, good. Yeah. Nice. Erenia, <laughs> how was your day? No microphone. Yes, thank you. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Uh, Fine. My day was uh, pretty busy because I was doing some activities for my students and also oh. I had to do the, the laundry today so it was all <laughs> right all right okay Irene how was your day good evening everybody good evening how was your my day? day was very <laughs> my day it was very busy but I am happy good thank you very good, nice. All right, so welcome back. It's good to have you again. Uh, what is today's date? It's October 6th. Yes, October 6th, 2020. Yes. All right, so remember we finish um, next week. So you should be completing um, the platform on a weekly basis. So every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, I don't know which day is best for you, but you should spend uh, at least one day, you know, uh, to the platform, dedicate one day to the platform. Now, if you can do the platform every day, that that's, that's even better. That way you don't accumulate any work. All right. Um, do you remember the topics we covered uh, yesterday? Do you remember the topics? <laughs> no. Vilma, you were absent, huh? Yes, <laughs> I was. Okay. I was tired and a little sick. Okay. I have stomach cake. Oh, well, are you better today? Yeah. Good, good. All right, so what topics did we cover yesterday, class? Um, just remember the, the last part about the conversation about the, our bodies. That, yes. Well, yeah, was a nice, was a nice conversation. Yes, you know everybody. Uh, other, yeah. Sorry, the other one was the passive voice, I think. Yes, yes, passive voice, exactly. So, so what is the difference between the active and the passive voice? What's the difference? In the active voice, you mentioned the the noun that is doing the action, I think. And in the passive voice, you don't mention the, the doer of the action. Good. Very simple. With the active, you mention the person responsible for the action. With the passive, you share the information, but you don't mention who is responsible for the action. So uh, with the passive voice, you always need to include the verb to be and the form of the main verb is always past participle. Good. And we were also talking about the body, the human body. Everyone has a human body, so everybody should be taking good care of it. It's the only one we have. Mm -hmm. It's the only one we have. How do you say repuestos in English? Repuestos? Repuestos? Replacement? Parts. 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 Yeah, replacement is a uh, reemplazo. But you say parts. 
So, you know, like when the body starts giving you issues or problems, there are no parts for it, you know. Mm -hmm. so, and if there is something similar, it's not that easy. It's a little bit complicated. Anyways, all right. Do you have any questions or comments about yesterday? I have a lot of questions because okay. <laughs> I was absent. Okay. About the class, yes, I don't know about the class. Okay, all right. So remember, the, the, when you guys are absent, the video is uploaded uh, every day. So in the case of Vilma, you know, she was absent yesterday. You can go to the YouTube channel, you click on the link, and you will have the eight, including today, you will have 10 different videos with the 10 different classes. So oh, I invite you. you to watch the video. If there is something you don't understand, you send me a text message or you can ask uh, in class. Okay, okay. Yep. All right. All right. All right. So um, yesterday we were uh, discussing the passive voice. 3.4. Let me see this here. Mm -hmm. It's right here. It should be here. Okay. Can you see my page? Can you see my image? Yes. yes I can see Okay. 3.4 knowledge check. You guys will have access to this on the platform. So these exercises here, uh, they have to be transferred to the passive voice form. Mm -hmm. So uh, yesterday we were practicing the present continuous, present perfect, and simple future with the passive voice. It doesn't matter which tense you're using, you always need to include the verb to be, and the form of the verb is always past participle. So look at the first one. The first one says thousands of computers already, what? Have been infected. Yes, have been infected, have been infected by spyware. Now imagine by spyware, it's optional because you can perfectly say thousands of computers already have been infected, period. And the mm -hmm. sentence is perfect. But if you want to mention who is responsible or what is responsible for the information, then you can do it. But with the passive voice, you don't really need to mention uh, who the doer is. So uh, let's do number two more freeware. Now, when you use the word soon, what does that tell you? Future. Future, future. exactly, it's future. So more freeware, what? Will be released. Exactly, will be released soon for all kids of all kinds of applications. It's kinds, not kids, kinds, okay? So let me take a picture of this. You can also take a screenshot if you wish. Uh, eight to nine, eight to nine, eight to nine, right here. So that's the first one. Yep, and number eight. And number eight. All right, so I will assign you to work in pairs. While you're doing the exercise, if you have any questions or, or doubts, uh, you ask me. So let's do this here. For create, add a room. Here we go. Passive voice using different tenses. It can be present continuous, present perfect, or simple future, different ones. So it's loading right there. Uh, 
Hello again. Hello, teacher. How are you? How was your day? Hello, teacher. It was a really good day. Thank you for asking. Good, good. What time do you start your day? 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? These days, I've been starting my day at maybe at 6 a.m. Okay. 6 a.m. What about you, yes. Wendy? What time do you start your day? Uh, on these days that I, I do home office, I start at 6 a.m. Okay. So you don't uh, leave your house? Before the, before. Uh huh. So you're working from your house? Yes, in my case, I, I work my house. Okay, fine. All right. And let's do that number five. Nowadays, teen, teen chat, chat rooms are being monitored. Are being are being monitored 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 yeah monitored okay. monitored yes number six uh, these days podcasts are being downloaded Download. uh, which is um, for um, for example <clears throat> uh blows are started on all sort of topic every day or okay. are being started uh-huh to be are being started sure yeah thousands of blogs are being started on all sorts of topics every day Yes, you can say that. Okay. Um, the verb is uh, change the verb. This is verb. example. We, uh -huh. we started yesterday. Okay, present perfect. They have uh, remo re remodeled. The pronunciation about remodel is remodel. Yeah, remodeled. Yes. Remodel the house. Passed by. So if you analyze Vilma, when you're using the passive voice, it doesn't matter which tense you're using, you always need to include verb to be and the form of the verb, of the main verb is always past participle. Uh -huh. Okay, past, uh, past participle. Ah, okay. Yep. The how has been, yes. Been All right. Been. Okay. The number four. Mm -hmm, number four. Okay. Uh, recently, more hotspots set up in a small town. Um, recently, um, which one are you doing? Number four. Number four. Okay. Recently, more hotspots. Han sido instalados. How do you say that one? Recently, more hotspots uh, have been. Have been. Have been set up. Yes, have been set up. Good. What is your answer of the number four? I'm, I'm opening. Wait, wait a moment. Okay, here it is. 
for the number, what you said? Number four. Ah, for the number four in the U.S. You have to okay. start with that in the U.S. And in you the have US. to put the comma. Mm -hmm. In the, okay, in the U.S. point S, comma. Addressing a professor by his or her first name is unusual. To are being or have been? I think are are been. 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 Which number? Number number six. Six. This day podcast. Uh huh. Are being downloaded. Are being downloaded. Hello. Sorry, in the number in the number four, I have a, a little number. Uh, uh -huh. When I write uh, the answer has been set up, I have bad the answer. Okay, recently more hotspots have been set up in small towns. Have been. Mm, have been. Because okay. hotspots uh, is in plural form. In plural, right? It's okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Very good. Then the answer for the number four is have been. Have been. Have been. Yes, yes, you're right. For the comma, there is exactly a period. Uh -huh. There's a period. Addressing, in the U.S., addressing a professor by his, let me see my by his or her first name, it's not, uh, sorry, uh, unusual. Is That's that... a... uh, seven sentence. Ah, I think there is a uh, eight. Eight. You took the eight. I don't have, no, I don't have the number eight. It said uh, webcams. A space in, in parentheses. I don't know what can I say in English. Yeah, parentheses. Parentheses. Yeah. Is used in the future to broadcast college classes. College classes. College classes. Uh huh. So when you say webcams, is that singular or plural? A plural. Plural, exactly. So what would be the answer? Um, How do you say serán usadas? Be will used. be used. Will be used. Will be used. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the main session. Thank you, teacher. All right. All right, all right, welcome back. So let me check this here. All right, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I need a volunteer to do number three, thousands of blogs. Are being started. Are being started, very mm -hmm. good. What about number four? Recently, more hotspots have been set up. Okay, recently, more hotspots have been set up. Yes. Number five, nowadays, teen chat rooms are being monitored. Are being monitored. Very good. Number six, these days, podcasts. Are being downloaded. Are being downloaded. Very good. Number seven. Soon viruses. Uh-huh. When you hear the word soon, that indicates what? Future. 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 Will, be created. Will be created. And the last one says webcams. Will be used. Very good. Will be used in the future to broadcast college classes. Now, 
you know, that's not part of the future. That is part of what we are experiencing uh, in the present right now. All right, any questions or comments about this exercise? No? Okay, mm -hmm. so we have a listening activity for today, but before we do the activity, the listening activity, I want you to activate your knowledge, your opinion about, um, about your opinion about the internet. So let me recreate, recreate. And so once again, you will be working in pairs. I want you to tell your friend your opinion about the internet. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it useful? Is it useless? Is it necessary? So which one is it? So you will be working with a different person and Let's do this. Internet. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, internet is um, uh, is is a little bit is is necessary. It's mm -hmm. necessary to to. Because that is my tool. That is the tool that I'm using to to keep the communication with my students and also with my my coworkers and with my boss. So I think a. In this time that we are having this situation of the virus and all the stuff that comes with it, I think the internet is a, a very important tool that uh, keeps us connected with each other. So, but what about what about uh, after 5 p.m.? Do you still uh, check your phone? Are you still checking your phone after 5 p.m.? Yes, I check it, but I for personal things. I don't use it for, exactly. work. for work. After 5 p.m. I don't answer the messages or the or the 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 students continue sending me the homework but I don't answer to them. I just wait for the next morning to to reply. to answer. So, mm -hmm. But I also continue using that the cell phone I check the work uh, sometimes I have to to see I don't know uh, social media like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. I don't know, and I think it's a distraction. It is. It is a distraction. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's similar to me because when when I was child and I found that the information in the in the library I found in many books <laughs> and you have the information but it is very it, it was very difficult for me uh, to present um, a hunger maybe because it, it was necessary found in many books nowadays internet is very easy for the teenagers and the other people because 
uh, there are many information only you can find in the, in the internet in them you have the, all the, the topic right yeah, yeah everything I is think... more accessible now yeah but I, it depends, I... it depends, it depends the, of the youth is it good or bad mm -hmm. But I think I, in order to sell product, in order to the companies continue doing operation, yeah, um, the children can continue their studies. For example, to finish the, mm -hmm. for the teacher, for the schools, it's very important. Uh, it's really important now. The internet, yes. Yes, yes. But because that is the, um, the communication uh -huh. between the, the teacher to the student, between the workers with the bosses and, and other people. Yes, it's very important right now. Mm -hmm. For example, we are uh, working by this, <laughs> for, by internet, uh, mm -hmm. to have a class English, class with the teacher. Yes. Sure. Is you are in the... Dale, dale. If you are in the, what to say, social media, um, there's always uh, people stalking for people. Yes. And ten, 10 years ago, the internet is was not very... And even, yeah, yeah, yes, it's very, very necessary because you can do the a lot of sin the um, there is a evolution mm -hmm. because you use the internet you need the internet to do transaction transaction uh -huh, transaction uh -huh. you, you you can pay the bill you can pay another another sin and uh -huh. you can do the Transference when you use the the, the funds, your funds. Sure, sure you do. Um. Okay, identity thief. Uh, identity uh, thief. Uh, let me see fake news, children's use, stalkers, uh, radicalization. Uh huh. By media. What else? Did we mention before? Let me see. Uh huh. So many. Yes. Teacher, you are muted. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Any questions or comments about the use of internet? No? No. Okay, so, um, yes, Vilma? Yes, we was talking with um, Jose. Jose, uh -huh. the, 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 uh, uh, Because in this moment or in this, or, in la actualidad, how do you say it? nowadays? Uh, nowadays or currently? Uh -huh, yeah, uh, currently, it's very necessary to to use it. If, for example, I use the example with the teacher and the student that is very necessary to have internet in the house because uh, uh, that is the communication between the teachers or schools or uh, workers. Uh -huh. Right, right. Now imagine this pandemic uh, 25 or 30 years ago, it would have been more serious because we, we didn't have the internet as the way we have it right now. So yes, you're right, Vilma. All right, anybody else? Any other comments? 
No? All right, so let me play the audio for you. I will put you on mute so um, nobody can interrupt your attention. Let me see this. Uh, where is the audio? Where is the audio? I think it's right here. Hmm. That should be the one. Give me a second, it's loading. How do you feel about the internet? Okay, can you hear the audio? Yes. All right, good, here we go. Mute all. All right. How do you feel about the internet? A. Listen to Edward, Ting, and Maria talking about how they use the internet. Who do you think is the most enthusiastic about the internet? Our question today is, how do you feel about the internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? Okay, so what did Edward say? What does he use the internet for? Anyway. It's easier the life. Okay, life is easier. He does shopping too. Uh-huh. What else? It's fantastic for the work. Okay, it's fantastic for work. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the end makes he gives easier. it makes life easier. Yes. But sometimes it can make it more complicated. So but usually it makes life easier. So what is the recommendation he gives uh, uh, while he's talking at the end? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't, um, doesn't, doesn't connect uh, a lot of hours. hours. Exactly, exactly. Yes, that's the observation he makes. But be careful, don't connect too long. Okay, second person, here we go. If you ask me. Okay, thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello, what's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the internet is the best place to get the news. So I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online. So I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Okay, so what is Ting's opinion? What did she say? She takes the class online. Okay, she's taking classes online. What is her opinion about online classes? Take a class and do the homework. Okay, is she happy with that? No, really. Okay, very good. So does she, does she mention any sports while she's talking? Sports? Yes. Uh, I don't think so. It's a uh, uh, something like kayaking and hiking. Yes, hiking, hiking and kayaking. Right, right. She says she rather to, exactly. to kayak or, or hike Very instead good. of surfing the web. Exactly. Good. She would rather do uh, hiking and kayaking instead of surfing the web. Very good. Nice. Any other comments or questions about the second speaker? 
for she online is uh, it's her favorite place. Yeah, it's not her favorite place. Okay. All right, and let's listen to the third one. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Okay, so what did Maria say about her use of internet? Uh, Maria, she doesn't time? Either uh, play or chat her, with her friends. Okay, so she's very for, happy for with you. Okay. She doesn't know how lives without internet. Exactly, yes. exactly. She, man, how can I be without it? Yes. Is she downloading anything? New game. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, new games, new games. Because she loves to play the game. The game. Right, right, very uh, good. She has her own blog. Yes, she's making her own blog, yes. All right, good. Now, how do you use the internet? Do you use it mainly for work or do you use it for pleasure? For both. For both, yes. Okay. Now, okay. when when I say pleasure, what is pleasure for you? Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, what is it? YouTube? I use YouTube and WhatsApp too. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, a lot of kind to do. Yeah, there are many things you can do to enjoy internet and, and, and use it as pleasure, right? Yes. Okay, so do you use the internet at work for yes. work reasons? Always, yes. <laughs> now always. Every day. Yes. Exactly, every day. Yes. exactly. All right. Yeah, the same thing happens to me, you know, like uh, before all these classes were presential, you know, it was face to face, but now with the pandemic, you know, they cancel all the classes. So all the work that I have is by internet. My yes. yes, as a matter of fact, you know, before the, uh, the, the emergency came, I had only five megabytes of, of speed. But since I knew that this was going to be something normal, I changed and now I have 10. So, all right. Yeah. All right, any questions or comments about the internet before we change activity? No. No? no? Okay, so let's go to our last activity. Our last activity is about something that you have experienced uh, before, I think, especially in El Salvador. Okay, let me see this here. Mm -hmm. Now, where is this? I could have sworn I had uh, typed the, these questions. All right, anyways. Okay. All right, can you see the questions? Yes. yes. Okay, what is the topic? The discussion on danger. Yes, danger, danger. Okay, so I will, yeah, but I could have sworn that I had, um, I had a different document. So I'm sending you the, uh, the questions to the WhatsApp chat. If you wanna take a screenshot, go ahead and do it. Recreate. Yes, we can do it. All right, so we go this here, three, three. So add a room. 
We're gonna move this person to room six and move this person to room six. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Which question are you doing? She's, he, I think Oscar is searching. No, I, I cannot. Uh -huh. But you, the, if you have it, it's okay because I have it in my computer too. Okay, I have it here. Okay, let's, let's get it started. What well, comes to your mind when you hear the word danger? Um, I don't know, I think. To be in a danger. Like, uh, for example, they like to practice a sport that it can be really dangerous that to jump into the, I don't know how can I say, puente? Bridge. Bridge. Just to have the, the pleasure to to feel the, the adrenaline yeah, in their they... vein. <laughs> okay. Neither do I, Jose. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Even... Yeah. Uh, ¿Qué viene a tu mente cuando te di, cuando escuchas la palabra peligro? Uh -huh. um, scare. Uh, como, what, what you say? Incertidumbre. Uncertainty. 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 Yes. I am scared and uncertainty. And, and, and only. <laughs> and you, Jennifer? And Do you like danger? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the danger. No, I don't like, I don't feel like attracted by, by danger. Okay. Have you ever been in danger? Mm, not sure exactly. Maybe, yeah, uh, I had hepatitis when hepatitis. I was... Hepatitis. when I was 11. And uh, yeah, it was, yeah, was difficulty for me and for my family. Because believe me, I was like this to die. <laughs> but I'm still here. And yes, I was in danger. How much time were you, did you have hepatitis, uh, Julia? I was in the hospital uh, 11 days. Okay. Yeah, 11 days. And uh, my mom, my mom told, uh, told me that he was at the capilla, the church of the hospital, uh -huh. to pray 
every night for my life because believe me, I <laughs> I was uh, in a serious to... condition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm glad yeah. that you made it. Yeah. They pushed me to make to make it because yeah. in I I I took a point when I was so tired. It, it was that sensation that I always have. I, I, I wanted to be athlete and someone like told me, hey, you can you can leave us you, you can still you cannot leave a still. No, you cannot leave. Okay. But I wanted to I wanted to to go I don't know how to explain it, but I I, I was feeling so tired that I just wanted to be asleep asleep. Okay. So someone, a doctor, so, uh, a doctor pushed me to to stay like awake. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Nice. Yeah. Aha. Many places that you know that you cannot visit, even if you have family there, because you don't know uh, yes. who who can appear and 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 hurt you. So I think everybody does uh, something to prevent dangerous situations. Yes, I'm agree with you. Family in a, a dangerous place, the family are going to visit them uh -huh, to be careful and careful. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, be careful, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, be careful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to the okay. next one. It says, the, what is the most dangerous thing you've done? What is the most mm. dangerous thing? And you are walking through the to the neighbor my neighbor neighborhood. So yes. Like like you said, somebody dangerous can attack to you. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. But I was in I was driving, I was traveling, uh, mm -hmm. I have to say, on an airplane, on air. Mm -hmm. By plane, uh -huh. By plane, yes. <laughs> the, okay, the, despite that, no, i never been there, but despite that, I, ha I have heard stories about the, the federales following people from El Salvador. Uh -huh, because they suspect every Salvadorian is a, uh, migrant, illegal. Ah, migrant. yes, yes. They they asked uh -huh. me a lot of questions when I was uh, when I arrived to the airport, but okay, but it was okay. I was okay. You're talking about Mexico. Uh huh. Yes, because I I traveled alone to Mexico once. Oh, when did you go to Mexico, Diana? I I went like uh, two years, three three years ago. And did you go for pleasure or work? No, I I went there pleasure. for pleasure. Yes. Good. What part of Mexico did you visit? The capital city. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been in Mexico two times. Mexico is a beautiful country. <laughs> yes. Okay. The food is really, really good. Oh, Mexican food is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was amazing. Yeah. You know, even people that sell with carretones on the streets, man, they have mm -hmm. that special touch. The food is really good. And really cheap, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's very cheap. Very yeah. cheap. It was amazing. Okay. Yeah, Mexico is a nice place to visit. It's a nice place, yes. Just to visit. Yeah, just to visit. That's a story. Yeah, that's a story. <laughs> of the of the gas in my in my oven because oh. I consider a uh, dangerous thing 
always. I think I think that. Yes, it's a uh, it's good practice. Mm -hmm. And for uh, you? Just in my case, I try to be aware of the the many things in in the house, like you were saying, the the stuff or the oven, the even the many connection, even the disconnect the. I don't know, can I say extensiones? Extensions, yeah. Okay. Because they can be in a, they can produce fire. It can be a dangerous. Right, right. And especially if you have little ones at home, you have to be careful with them too. Oh, yes. They wanted to experiment with anything they they encounter they yeah anything they they see they said okay let's try this let's see what happens yeah little ones you have to be careful with the little ones Skype or they send us a message and they say hi how are you and if you don't know the number you have to ask yes. the names before and don't start a conversation with strangers I think yes yes but I didn't I didn't I didn't <laughs> so, but it's, but it's a, a experience and you have to learn yes. from that experience. yes I learned about that experience yes yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're talking, teacher, about our dangerous experiences. Experiences. <laughs> okay. You mean by internet? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Do yes. you do, do you guys have Facebook? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you receive accept a friend request from strangers? I don't. At no. the beginning, when I when I started with Facebook in two thousand and nine or. Then I think uh -huh. I, I I did it, but uh, once once I deleted all my my requests that I didn't know, right. and now I don't accept strangers. Right, right. Mm -hmm. What about you, Vilma? Yes, I uh, um be careful careful about it. Uh -huh. I don't accept uh, if if I no lo conozco if I if I don't know the person. Aha, uh -huh. if I don't know the person, I, I don't accept them. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yes. Yeah, I, I have received a, a friend request from people that I have never seen. And I asked them, you know, like, imagine it's Marlene. And I said, hello, Marlene, where do I know you from? And they don't reply back. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, that's very clear. If you don't, if you cannot explain that we have met before, I will not accept your your friend request. You know. Yes, because there's there's not a reason to to accept yeah, people yes. that you don't know personally. Right, right. Yeah. But yeah, like like Irene was saying at the beginning when I began using uh, Facebook, like in two thousand eight, I think. Uh, you know, I accepted um, friend requests from people that I didn't know, and I said, okay, fine, fine. But then you know, yeah. times change, and you have to be extra careful with your safety. Yes. yes. Because it's you don't know the intentions of, of people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Especially if you have had <laughs> someone in the past that this person might be a little bit special. You don't know if that particular person can be behind this uh, apparent yeah. new yeah, friend, you, you know. You have to be yeah. extra carefully. Extra exactly. Careful. Yes. Exactly. Yes. All right. Okay. See ya. Uh, I don't. I don't know. No me opongo. I don't know how do you say. How do you say what? I, no me opongo. Um. You can say I don't resist. I don't object. 
I don't resist. Okay. I mm -hmm. don't resist. And I I give my my myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. So with the next uh, okay. What what is the most dangerous thing you've done? That kind of, of, of yeah. games. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I don't like the I don't like the heat. And uh, when I if I travel, I do it. If I do it, it's because I really need it in order to yeah. get to arrive or get in, in to another place. I hate. I really hate flight. See, I prefer it is in my house. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, any questions or comments about the word danger? Danger is danger, teacher. Danger is danger, yes. And sometimes we can create that danger by our actions. Yes. Okay. So, once again, thank you very much for making the space. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. You guys have a good night. Have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Sleep good well. Good night. See you later.